When many people talk about the possible real-life origins of Pokemon, they bring up the animals they're based off. A Caterpie is a Caterpillar, a Lillipop is a Dog, etc. However, there are some Pokemon that have their roots based deep within some pretty obscure mythology. I dug around to bring up 5 Pokemon based on legendary creatures that'll hopefully blow your mind. The Thunderbird is a widespread figure in Native American mythology, particularly among Midwestern Plains and Northwest Coast tribes. Thunderbird is described as an enormous bird, which, according to many Northwestern tribes, is large enough to carry a killer whale in its talons as an eagle carries a fish. It is said to be responsible for the sound of thunder, and in some cases, lightning as well. Different Native American communities had different traditions regarding the Thunderbird. In some tribes, Thunderbirds are considered extremely sacred forces of nature, while in others, they are treated like powerful but otherwise ordinary members of the animal kingdom. Hearing about a powerful legendary bird that controls lightning, it's not hard to line this up with the very popular Pokemon, Zapdos. With the Thunderbird in mind, a lot of Zapdos's otherwise mundane Pokedex entries really line up to this legend, such as, This legendary Pokemon causes savage thunderstorms by flapping its glittering wings. And, A legendary Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. These descriptions really give off the impression that this creature has immense power, and really lines up to how the Thunderbird was perceived. The specific golem in question is the Golem of Prague. This is an old Jewish legend that goes, in the 16th century, the Holy Roman Emperor, Rudolf II, had decided to expel or kill Prague's Jews. The chief rabbi of Prague created and brought to life a golem in order to protect his people. The golem spread fear by attacking and killing those who sought to do harm to those of Hebrew faith. The emperor begged the rabbi to deactivate the golem, which he agreed to do on the condition that the emperor stopped persecuting the Jewish people. The legend states that the deactivated golem was stored in the attic of Prague's old new synagogue. The emperor, understanding that it could be brought back to life at any time if he broke his promise. If you haven't guessed from its appearance, the Pokemon based on this old legend is Golurk. A key visual feature of this particular golem is the damage across its chest, covered by what looks like a metal band-aid. This mythological origin is hinted at in the Pokedex, where it states, It is said that Golurk were ordered to protect people and Pokemon by the ancient people who made him, showing that this Pokemon too has roots in history. When a paper lantern, or a Japanese chochin, reaches an advanced age, there's a chance it'll become a chochin or bake. The paper splits along one of its wooden ribs, forming a gaping mouth with a wild tongue. One eye pops out of the upper half of the lantern, and occasionally arms or legs may sprout out from its body as well. They are usually made out of bamboo and paper or silk. Just like all other Japanese spirits of possession, the lantern comes to life after a hundred years of service. The Chochin rarely causes physical harm, preferring simply to surprise and scare humans, laughing and rolling its large tongue and eyes at guests in the home. The Pokemon believed to be based on this spirit is Dusclops. Dusclops appears to be a ghost composed of a wrapped material, and its focal point being its one large central eye. Also, nearly every Pokedex entry makes reference to its insides being completely empty, and one that theorizes that there's a flame inside, not too far off from this possible lantern origin. There's an old Buddhist legend that tells the story of two demons who once opposed Buddha. One of them is Raijin, the Japanese god of thunder and lightning, 
and the other demon was Fujin, the Japanese god of wind. The story goes that Buddha ordered the capture of those two demons and, after being defeated, Raijin and Fujin now work for the heavens. In some Japanese temples, you will see large statues representing this pair of gods. The god of wind is coloured in green and carries on his shoulder a large bag full with wind. When he opens the bag, the winds are set free, creating storms. Japan has historically experienced large typhoons that cause great damage and loss of life. Nevertheless, Fujin also has a good side. Two storms devastated Mongol fleets as they tried to invade Japan in 1274 and again in 1281. This was attributed to Fujin protecting Japan. Raijin is usually depicted holding hammers surrounded by drums. He often has three fingers on each hand, representing the past, present and future. Raijin is among the most feared Japanese deities. Parents traditionally tell their children to cover their belly buttons during storms or Raijin will eat their belly. There's also an agricultural tradition of praying to Raijin for rain and lightning. The Japanese once believed that lightning was responsible for fertilizing rice plants, and rice fields that were hit by lightning were sure to enjoy a bountiful harvest. These both hold a striking resemblance to the Pokemon Tornadus and Thundurus. Thundurus is also green and shares a similar appearance to an old Japanese god. It's said in the Pokedex that Tornadus expels massive energy from its tail causing severe storms, which is similar to how Fujin carries its wind in its bag, and appears very similar in appearance too. Thundurus also carries a similar appearance to its real life origin. Thundurus carries circular objects similar in design to the drums Raijin carries. Thundurus' Pokedex entries are filled with similarities to Raijin too. The spikes on its tail discharge immense bolts of lightning, it flies around the Unova region, firing off lightning bolts. It also says, As it flies around, it shoots lightning all over the place and causes forest fires, therefore it is disliked. Which could be a reference to the mixed reputation of Raijin and Fujin. There is also a third legendary to this set called Landorus. Visually, this Pokemon is harder to line up to a Japanese deity, However, its Pokedex entries strike a possible resemblance to the Kami Inari. However, it's much more loose compared to Thunderous and Tornadus. In Japan, and earlier in China, the mythological phoenix, known as the Feng Huang, was adopted as the symbol of the imperial household particularly the Empress. This mythical bird represents fire, the sun, justice, obedience, fidelity, and the southern star constellations. According to legend, the Fen Huang appears very rarely and only to mark the beginning of a new era, the birth of a virtuous ruler, for example. In other traditions, Fen Huang appears only in peaceful and prosperous times and hides itself when there is trouble. As a herald of a new age, the Feng Huang descends from heaven to earth to do good deeds, and then it returns to its celestial abode to await a new era. It is both a symbol of peace, when the bird appears, and a symbol of disharmony, when the bird disappears. The Feng Huang slightly resembles a peacock, however much more sizable. It also embodies the characteristics of many other feathered species, which is why it is considered the epitome of all birds. There are also many other claims of its origin and appearance. Whatever the truth, the phoenix carries on its own mythological existence as an animal of legends. The Fen Huang symbolizes justice and graciousness, and it does not tolerate lies or the abuse of power, which is why it never appears to people who engage in such amoral acts. The Fen Huang is an extremely kind creature, which is why the legends of the phoenix do not contain any elements of vengefulness. The bird simply shuns away from those who fail to meet its high moral standards. In fact, the phoenix is so docile that it only consumes morning dew in order to avoid causing harm to any animals or plants. 
The Chinese phoenix was later adopted into Japanese culture as well. Its name? Ho. The name of the Pokemon Ho seems to be a simplified version of the accented origin name as I've seen it spelt a whole mess of other ways. Visually, Ho lines up with this bird of legend in both the Chinese and Japanese versions. A lot of the Pokedex entries talks about the rainbows and its visual side. However, there are ones that let slip about its moralistic nature and how pure of heart this creature is. Entries such as it will reveal itself before a pure-hearted trainer by shining its bright rainbow-coloured wings. And, its feathers are in seven colours. It is said that anyone seeing it is promised eternal happiness. Now wasn't that fun and interesting? I actually had a lot of fun doing this list. Not only from learning about some of my favourite Pokemon, but also learning about some pretty interesting legends from around the world. If you want to see more lists like this, leave a like and let me know in the comments. That's how I know to make more things you'll like. Also, share this list to those who you might think interested. And if you wanted more, check out my previous list. 5 Pokemon you should keep away from your kids. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. I just got my 3DS working and... I think I need to reunite with some of my old friends. <laughs>